I want to summarize the precise relationship between a function and its derivative function. We've had a look at differentiating techniques, that is the power rule, product rule, quotient rule, and the chain rule, and we've used a combination of them to differentiate some complex functions. However, we must remember the fundamental relationship between a function and the derivative function, because after all, it is the reason we are differentiating a function in the first place. Recall the definition of a derivative where this definition originated from rewriting the expression for calculating a gradient to almost perfectly estimate the gradient at one coordinate point. This definition should remind us of the exact relationship between a function and its derivative function. That is, corresponding y values on the derivative function provide the gradient value on our function, the original one, for any x point. Let's take a closer look into this. Suppose we've got a function f of x being equal to a third x cubed plus a half x squared minus 2x. We can differentiate this function by using the power rule and we get f prime of x being equal to x squared plus x minus 2. To repeat what was said just before, corresponding y values on f prime of x provide the gradient value on f of x for any x point. Let us look at this graphically to get a deeper intuition as to what this really means. We can see the function mentioned graphed in red and its derivative graphed in yellow. What we notice is the corresponding y values on the yellow function will tell us the gradient on the red function. We can see that when x is equal to negative 3, the corresponding y values on f prime of x are positive, as indicated by the dashed horizontal line. Simultaneously, the slope on f of x is positive, that is, the green slope along the fixed dot. As this point shuffles along to x being equal to negative 2, the corresponding y values on f prime of x at this exact x point of negative 2, the slope is flat. In other words, the gradient is equal to 0. Between the values of x being equal to negative 2 and x being equal to 1, we see the corresponding y values on our derivative function are negative. Simultaneously, our function illustrates a negative gradient. Considering the x values after x being equal to 1, the corresponding y values on our derivative function are all positive, and these y values become larger. This indicates that the slope will continue to increase along the x-axis, and we can see this in the animation. Let me just loop this visual one more time so you can see it in full speed again. To really illustrate this point, let's do this for a complex function, say the one in the video chain rule number two, example number one. I've graphed the two functions, that is, the function and its derivative function, and I just want to illustrate the relationship between f of x and f prime of x. You can see that the derivative function tells me the exact same thing, that is, the corresponding y values on the derivative function will provide the gradient value on our function, the original one, at those particular x points. Hopefully, in conclusion of this, you can see the direct relationship between f of x and f prime of x, and hopefully you can see that the power rule, product rule, quotient rule, and chain rule are just techniques used to find the derivative of a function.